Welcome to another episode of the Shop Walk here at Iconic Motorbikes. It is November 7th and we are starting behind the hangar because I'm here with Gray. And look at this, I got a little microphone. Ooh. Yeah, fancy, right? All right, Gray uh, runs the auction site for us. He is handling uh, an RD400. One of our clients uh, just bought an Aprilia from us and is, for lack of a better term, trading this in. So he's selling this to make room for it. This is gonna go up on the auction site, possibly with no reserve. He was Possibly, we'll see, but let's give it a couple. Yeah. Nineteen seventy-seven Yamaha RD four hundred. I love that paint job on that. <sighs> cool bike. So uh, we'll see that up very soon. Thank you, Gray. As we uh, work our way back here, another soon to be on the auction bike is this Harley. I believe it's a Street Bob. I got to be honest. I don't know much about Harleys, uh, but yeah, it's a Street Bob. A couple of aftermarket things here and there. The air cleaner, that uh, that yellow French style uh, headlight cover. So that'll be up on the auction site soon. Uh, we got a couple of Yamaha R bikes. Is that R6 over there? Cam Peterson's former uh, race bike that he came second in at the Daytona 200. We were not able to find a new home for that. So that's gonna go back to the new owner unless you really want it. <laughs> and then you can uh, find our classified section. This R1 uh, that's here, gonna make a great track bike for someone, uh, but waiting on some paperwork for it. As we make our way over here to the shop part of the shop walk, we'll start in this bay. Today is Thursday, so both Daniel and Angel are off, but they actually came in on their time off to work on this. This is a Yamaha uh, Tracer, the 900. Really, really amazing sport touring bike. Uh, this belongs to our former general manager, Kento Kent Kutsugu. He uh, unfortunately uh, basically toasted a valve, and so the top end had to come off. We've been waiting on some parts on it. And uh, yeah, really nice. Daniel and Angel came in uh, on their uh, on their day off to uh, to address that. So they they both already left. Obviously, they're not done yet. Uh, but they got uh, they got the motor in, and uh, they'll be uh, continuing to work on this over the next couple of days so that uh, Kento can get his uh, his commuter going. Uh, Angel, as I just mentioned, is out today. He's got a couple of bikes he's working on there. Over here, Yanni just uh, bailed on me. That was rude. So, <laughs> all right, we'll come back to Yanni in a second so he can fire up that bike for you. Uh, over here in Ollie's Bay, uh, everyone please give your best wishes to Ollie. Unfortunately, his property, he's got an avocado farm uh, in Moore Park and it's affected by that mountain fire that you might have heard in the news. It spread really crazy. Uh, so he, I mean, he came in this morning and, and just, it was getting close to his house or his property, so he had to, he had to head out. Uh, so he's working on this Yamaha RZ500 here, and then he's also working on my Kramer 690 race bike. I actually didn't even know he was working on this until I came in today, uh, but uh, I'm gonna be doing a track day within a couple of weeks. So it's gonna get new tires, oil filter, that kind of thing, the usual basics. And uh, I don't know, we've, we've shown this bike a bunch of times. I don't, I don't know if we've, we don't show it that often without the bodywork on it. So you can kind of see, again, KTM 690 single motor. And uh, it's, it's got Rotobox carbon fiber wheels on it. Um, but you can just see this, this is that custom, you know, the frame that Kramer builds for these things. The subframe here is also the gas tank, which is one of the reasons why this bike weighs so little, about 285 pounds. And then special, uh, Special thank you to my buddy, Nick DeSena. Last year at Barber 2023, uh, I did a track day after the racing uh, at Arma and we just decided that, okay, the spring was a little too soft for me. I was, I was out riding it. So the boys over at Kramer uh, took, <laughs> took the spring off Nick's bike. So it was a, you, know, you can see it's an 8.0. Uh, took that off and Nick just, well, I guess will never let me forget it because he signed it. Nick DeSena, fifth place when he raced in the Sound of Singles. So that's, uh, I think you guys have seen that I've got signatures all over my bike, all over the bodywork, uh, like right there. But uh, Nick's the only one that's got a, a signature on the spring. So he wins that round. All right, Yanni, Hello. trying something here with this uh, gigantic mic. Oh, it's on mic. It's on oh. mic. <laughs> yeah, so don't swear. Okay. All right. Hi. Hi, yeah. Uh, this is a gorgeous Kawasaki Ninja 600. It's been restored. Uh, it was actually here during COVID. Uh, because of that, we we're having a lot of issues getting parts. So Steve worked on this for like half a year or something like that. Uh, it's back now. Here you go. What, what did you do to it? I did the carbs. 
<laughs> you can, uh, yeah, there you go. I'd like to thank the Academy. Uh, I don't yeah. know what to do with my hands now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did the carbs. I... Uh, what else did I do? I don't the know. Carbs and oil, I think. And that's it. Oh, carbs and oil. I mean, yeah, because yeah, we had already done a bunch yeah, yeah, of work yeah, yeah, to yeah. it. So you, you basically sink the carbs, did the oil. It's got this great Vance and Hines exhaust on it. Could I have you uh, fire it up so yes, people can sir. hear what it's like? Thank you, sir. Show people the license plate on that bike. So, uh, thank you, Yanni. This thing, thank you, sir. This will be going up on our auction site uh, pretty soon. If not this week, then uh, then early next week, I would say. We're going to end here with uh, Steve, the professor, who's working on one of my favorite bikes that's come through here in a while. Oh, right on cue, maybe. Oh, the whole thing is dancing. Oh. <laughs> Almost. Yeah. Okay. Nice. What's that? 1946. 1946. Steve was joking earlier. Sounds pretty good. Nice job. That is so cool. So, Steve was joking earlier, this is one of the few bikes that he works on that he is younger than. But it's, like you said, a 1946 Husqvarna Model 24. And if you look at this, 118cc two-stroke engine. We've talked about this in an earlier shop walk, but now Steve's got it running, which is fantastic. <laughs> So cool. Okay. Oh. He's gonna try to put it in gear, it looks like, with the hand shifter. Hey. There you go. Oh, transmission works. Say that again, what, what was that? First, second, third. First, second, and third gear, all works. Nice job. Well, that is a great way to end a shop walk. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let us know. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, jeez. <geez. laughs>